know about the Napoli. What was that, sir? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Good evening, Please, when does the next train leave for Milan? Milano. There's one in half an hour at seven. Then could you tell me what train I could take from Milan to Paris? Excuse me, why not take the 8.30? That goes straight through to Paris. No, no, I'll take the one at seven. Thanks. Yes, sir? The first train for Genoa, please. 7.30. 7.30? Thank you very much. Thank you. Signora Forbes, is my sister there? My sister? She's off? Then let me speak to my nephew, please. Hello? Paul? This is Aunt Mary. I need your help, dear. Get down one of my suitcases, the largest one, and have the maid put all the things she can into it. I'm at the station. I'm leaving. No, no, nothing's happened, but I... I have to catch the plane home from Paris. Oh, and, and, and bring my fur coat, too, dear. I'm catching the 7 o'clock to Milan, and I'll be looking for you. All right, then. Hurry, dear. <laughs> Do you speak English? No. Senora? May I see that peasant dress in the window, please? The little Sicilian dress. Which size, please? I don't know how your sizes run here. My daughter is seven years old, but she's tall for her age. Thin. Is there a wide hem? Yes, senora. It grows so fast. I'm afraid. Oh, I suppose it'll be all right. Would you wrap it up for me quickly, please? Grazie. 
I deserve a goodbye. I wrote you, but if I... I hadn't telephoned, telephoned to your sister's house, I wouldn't have known. Here. Yes. I don't want to read what that says. Why couldn't you have told me? Hello? 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 Thank you for all you are good. Give your mother a kiss for me. And a kiss for you, too, dear. I love you very much. No. Who have you? Is something the matter with Uncle Howard? No, no, everything, everyone's fine. Shall I put your bag on the train? No, thank you, darling. I, I, the porter will take care of it. Goodbye, Aunt Mary. I'll miss you. Goodbye, darling. I must take the 8.30 for Paris. Right. As you wish. A van? A mountain van? A van? Uh, lots of it. Uh, Let's go someplace where we can sit down a while. Start to leave Rome after these after these weeks. This month. After yesterday. Don't you remember yesterday? What did you say to me then? That I loved you. But that was cruel. Because it wasn't true, was it? Because you had a ticket for it. You had it in your pocket. What am I? 
attracted to you suddenly? Some, an old guidebook that you don't really want anymore? Don't really want? Then you don't know what wanting is. Oh, don't I? Go just about. I watched you coming down Spanish steps. I was so excited and so happy when you said to me, Scusi, signor, dove è l'American Express? I thought you were in Italian. Because my mother comes from America doesn't make me less Italian. In this country, it's the men of God. You American women are much too emancipated. If I weren't emancipated, well, would I have done what I did that day? Let you ask me to a cafe and, and buy me a coffee. Several coffees. Three hours. Why did you come with me? <laughs> you didn't look very wicked. I'm not an imaginative woman. I, it was you. It was Rome. And I'm a housewife from Philadelphia. Well, why did you ask me? Because when I saw you, I knew what morning was. I lay awake thinking. I thought about dying. Yes, I thought about that too. Then I thought of Kathy. Her hair. The sweet little thing. Most of all, her eyes. It was all in separate pieces, like, like a puzzle I couldn't put together. She's so young. She's grown so fast. She's she's so gawky. She's got braces on her teeth. She's afraid of the dark. She's a child of my own, and and I can't give her up. I ever suggested you should give up, Kathy. You know I want her to be with us. You know I want us to be together. You. E. Kathy. That's fine for everyone. He phoned me last night. He sounded... Giovanni. He sounded so vulnerable. So... So lost. So like a small boy in the dark. Calling over and over. Where are you? Where are you? When are you coming home? I felt as though he knew that I'd been lying to him. Stealing the days from him, one by one. And it's him or me, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. You're young, darling. Much younger than Howard. And there's everything before you. I am Howard's future. Kathy and I... Excuse me, but you'll have to go elsewhere. We don't open until 8. said, but 
I can't. I can't. Good morning. Cognac. Si. Due cognac. In French, is. Maria, Maria, Maria. I figured things so differently. They offered me that job at the University of Pisa. Where my father taught. And I figured you and I would live at Marina di Pisa. In the house where I was born. You like that house. Looks out across the sea. And I teach Kathy how to sail. First, I'm afraid you'd have to teach me to swim. I can't lie to you. It isn't paradise. I'm not a rich man. I mean, we, we have to pump our own water from the well. Every time there's a... Every time it thunders, the electricity goes off. But I like candlelight. When the wind blows from Africa, it's very hot. It gets on your nerves. Everybody quarrels. You and I probably have a lot of quarrels. Who do we die? Why? The same reason my mother and father quarreled. But I thought they'd been so happy. They were. They were very. Except he was an Italian and he behaved like one. He liked to lead his own life. So he'd go off in the evening and he'd go to a cafe and play cards. Well, Mother thought he ought to be home with her. So do I. I mean, I wouldn't like it if you went off every evening and left me to... What? Mend my clothes and cook dinner for me? You wouldn't like that? Oh, I would. Don't forget, I'm an Italian, too. If you didn't behave yourself, I'd beat you. No. <laughs> Giovanni, you wouldn't. Would you? I would. That's right. Don't start worrying about that now. I'm not going to go off playing cards. Not tonight. Same thing. Come on, let's get out of here. We'll go to my place. Why don't we walk? It'll be cold when we get there. We can light a fire. We have supper. But at least for a little while, we'll have known what it could have been like. Oh. How to come down it? Grazie. There you go. There you go. You don't want to go. Four cups of tea. And the coffee leader, please. I forgot. Something I, I bought for Kathy. That costume. I left it on the train. We can buy her another. gone home. I just thought I'd look around. But didn't you miss your train? Oh, I'm taking a later one. I won't have to change trains. Oh. Paula, I'd like you to meet Mr. Doria, a friend of mine. My nephew. How do you do? Would you like something, dear? A hot chocolate? Sure. Do you want me to wait in the restaurant? Do that, darling. I'll only be a moment. Good night, Mr. Good night. Now what? 
I wouldn't have thought there was a chance of our running into Paul. There he was. Why did you call him? It was just that I, I was so surprised to see him. Anyway, I, I suppose we'd better face it. Everything seems to be working against us. <laughs> Goodbye, George. <laughs> down there. I think she has baby right here. <laughs> no. Ma che dici? E ci dite quattro mesi. She pregnant. Only four months. Where do you come from? England. Coal miner. No more work coal mine. I've come back to Italy. We'd better take her to the first day. Stay here and look after the children. After them? Yes, Paul. 
Okay. Viaggia da tre giorni? È soltanto stanchezza. It's nothing serious? He says she must rest, sleep, but in the bed. She not see bed for three nights. E su, alzati, che non hai niente. But surely you could stay in a little hotel somewhere. Me, yes. But she no one. The bambini, signor, must keep money for the new baby. No, gracias, signora. You much kind already. Arrivederci. 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 I'll pray Madonna for you. She good wife. Good mother. Always. Always for family. Never for her. Yes, she's wonderful. to go home now. But why can't I say to me? You'll miss your dinner. And... But anyway, Paul, I... I think I'd like to be alone. I love you, darling. You've been an angel. But I'm all right now, really. Okay, Aunt Mary. Tell your mother I'll write from Paris. And I'll write you too, darling. You will? You promise? Yes. If I tell you something, will you keep it a secret? Of course. You can trust me. You know that. I'm going to ask your mother if she'll let you visit us for Christmas. Oh, Aunt Mary. Goodbye now, darling. Christmas. Gosh. Run along now.
There's nothing to forgive. I'm the one to be forgiven. I want you to be happy. That's all I want. I'll let you go. I'll never see you again. But I want you to be happy. Are you crying, John? Voglio lo scendere. Che c'è? Che c'è? Che lo dobbiamo dire noi o non si può? Allora, ah, eh, almeno mi riguarda. Eh, roba del commissariato. Eh, signore, eh, però si è troppo. E eh, questo se lo vedrà con il commissario. Ma la signora deve partire, resta io. Non visita. Venga come subito al commissariato. Look, sir, 
You can take me to the commissary, but couldn't we let this lady go? She has to catch a train. I am not the man to talk to. Yeah. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No. You speak English? Yes. What is it? They couldn't make it up. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know what I'm these yokels. They come to the city thinking everyone is a thief. Che io mi posso di. Vittorini, sta calmo. Mi dica lei, signore, è più calmo di così, eh? Come deve fare? Provare Castaldi, se mi ha detto che ho visto a girarsi. Un momento, un momento, un momento. Scusate. Dunque. Eh, un momento. Scusi. May I see your documents, please? What are we waiting for now? The commissioner. What is this, a zoo? Are we, are we a couple of monkeys or something? Americano. 
My friend has to catch a train in a quarter of an hour. There's anything to be settled. Settle it with me. The train with the president is coming in. Then the commissioner will come back to the office. We are taking down the evidence. After that, it's up to the commissioner. Look, can you not get it through your head? This lady is going to miss her train. And can you not get it through your head? That this is a crime? A crime? What do you mean a crime? Uh, talk to the commissioner. What do you expect out of this? A medal? Giovanni. L'abbiamo sorpresa. Un atteggiamento sospetto in un vagone di terza classe. Mi sta a sul tronchino 17. Eh, a che ora? Ma sarà. I don't know. I just. I just seem to cause trouble. Adesso vi metterai, è arrivato il treno speciale. The commission. Stand up. Portillo Zuri. Buonasera, Portillo Zuri. Marci. Mrs. Forbes. Why are you two at the station? This lady is here to catch a train. What to? Harris. Are you separated from your husband? No. Any children? No. Yes, one. Does your husband know that you are in Rome? Yes. Yeah, Commissar. Okay. Io ho sottoscritto ID undersign Giulio Vallardi di Giuseppe to Brackman at the Rome Station testifying good faith the following at 7.30 p.m. while on a tour of inspection I found in a third class compartment of an empty car a man and a woman who were proceeded to arrest them and they brought them to this police station for the appropriate measures. A man and a woman 
food. Then it is only a question of your fine. I'd be glad to pay anything. Oh, but this is a different matter. This is not a ticket. This is a formal charge. Tickets you can pay to a police agent. But on a formal charge, the penalty must be determined by the judge. There must be a trial. This lady is married. She has a child. If such a statement is made public, I think the consequences would be very bad for her. But all this work, we made such an effort. What time does you try and leave? 8.30. Do you still plan to take it? della signora Forbes. Avete annunciato per l'altro palato. Best. Documenti, per favore. Identification. Verificare, prego. Certo. Okay. Okay. Go right 
Practical adoption. I think so. You will see that post here. At the university. Won't you divide? You live in the house that looks across the sea. Please. I don't think so, madam. But I'll have to ask the other conductor. Never, never. No. 